In this lesson, we are going to create an isometric grid using quick methods. So create a new document, go in, uh, make it 2048 by 2048, 72 DPI, and RGB coloring is fine. So if we click OK, then using the marquee tool, while holding Shift in, if you hold Shift in, with the marquee tool, it will create the selection from the point where you click. If you want to create a square from the middle, hold shift, alt, hold both shift and alt in and drag. Um, make it about that size. Then create a new layer, shift control in, and let's call this isometric grid. right click and select stroke change the color to red make it four uh, four pixels you can make it let's make it a little bit wider stroke let's make it eight pixels wide then uh, control d to deselect um, and we want to change the color so we want red for the a x uh, the x uh, axis and we want green for the y axis so let's zoom in then use the marquee tool again m on the keyboard and drag a selection like that then use the solid full color and make it green while holding your alt key in um, if you move the cursor between the two layers and click, it will make uh, this a clipping mask of that layer below it. Okay, and then select the mask layer. Let's zoom in a little bit here. And then Control T, because we want to pull the mask down to fill about there. And let's ch double check the top one and press enter. If you zoom out now, you'll see that uh, the lines, the vertical lines are green now and the horizontal lines are red. Okay, then press Control E to merge this. And now we want to rotate it. We want to make the green, the, the x-axis, uh, the y-axis to go from bottom left to top right and we want the red to go from bottom right to top left. So control T and then uh, rotate 45 degrees like this. Okay, so double check your, your rotation angles there. Then once you are happy, press enter on the keyboard. Right, now we want to squash this because we want a, a two by one dimension. Let me quickly show you what I actually mean. Cancel, let's do another rectangle. M, fill that with a solid fill. Let's make that a blue. <coughs> and drag that along. And I'm going to change the color to, say, a green. And Control E. I'm going to put it there, Control T, and stretch it. Let's make the opacity lower. You don't need to do the step. I just want to show you what we are aiming for. Then select your isometric grid layer, Control T, and then the height, we want to reduce that by 50%, pressing Enter and enter again and now you'll see we've got a two by one ratio for our isometric grid okay so i'm just gonna you can delete that if you've created that you can delete that then on the in the um, color uh, palette or color swatch we want to select a blue color for the z axis then pre, uh, we want to use the brush tool b on the keyboard and then uh, make it slightly wider. And if you've got um, 
your pressure pressure sensitivity on just put it off and while holding shift pull down just want to make it slightly narrower and pull it down so that's the basis for our isometric grid let's duplicate that and keep it safe um, so that's our backup copy and then uh, while using your move tool put it in in the corner now you'll see that mine snaps if yours doesn't go to view and enable snapping all right so let's move it there and i'm going to make it slightly smaller um, if you want to scale it time um, draw t and if you want to make sure that it scales proportionally make sure that you're holding shift while dragging that corner right while holding the alt key in drag and uh, pull it down that will make a copy of the isometric grid i'm zooming in a little bit so um, what we want to do is pull it up so that we have a straight line a straight red line and a straight yellow uh, green line now you can control e to merge that layer and do the same while holding alt pull and drag and hold shift in to make sure that it aligns with um, with the, the uh, top part again just pull it up till we've got a straight line in both directions and let's zoom out again Control e and we repeat this process until we filled the whole screen with our isometric grid Okay. Control E, Control E. Now we want to pull it to the the right. So holding Alt in, drag and pull, and then press Shift to make sure that it doesn't go in all directions. Okay, zoom in again and move it until we've got straight lines. So a straight line like this and a straight line like that. Then Control E to merge that and do repeat the process. Right, and then merge all of that together. And that's how you create an isometric grid. So let's scale this. But because we've got snapped on, you don't need to hold shift in, just drag and pull that till it snaps to the edges of the canvas. Press enter and zoom in. And that's how you create an isometric grid. Um, if you want your grid to be uh, less visible, just um, pull down the opacity. If you want to enhance the grid or make it more visible, just duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J a few times and then Ctrl E to merge those again. And then you can reduce the opacity if that's a little bit too strong. Right, so that's the first lesson. In the next lesson, I will show you how to use this grid um, to draw foxes. Thanks for watching.